All right, it's week 10, AMT 160. This is inspections class. Uh, this week, we've got not too bad of a load, but we've got some, some things we still have to make it through before the end of the semester. We're going to be talking about equipment inspections. And what we've got to do as far as work this week is that uh, we have an article that reads very short. There's a hyperlink, there's a, a web link in the week 10 folder in Blackboard. And then what we have is we have an exercise. It's set up like a quiz, but it's really an exercise. It'll be great as an exercise. So you have three items to inspect. You'll have a fire bottle, a seat assembly, and an O2 bottle. And what you'll do is you'll inspect those items. So when we are performing a, a inspection, equipment inspection, for this assignment, I expect you to tell me exactly what you're inspecting, what you're gonna look for. And I don't mean condition, and operation okay that's that's two words that's not that doesn't work for inspections class okay so I have here a a uh, piece of equipment I'm going to inspect safety vest right so what I'm going to do if I'm if I'm answering the question I'm going to inspect this first I'm gonna look at it I'm gonna look for holes I'm gonna look for tears all right and then I'm gonna see if there's a date item and there is a date item there's a card in here and the card says that this is past due. So the first thing I look at is I'm gonna look at condition, okay? But I'm gonna look and see if there's a time life item, and there is. There's several things that have a time life to them, and so I will reject this based on the date. The last thing I'll look at is I'm gonna look at it piece by piece. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna inspect the filler nozzle. I'm gonna look at the wiring. I'm gonna look at the light. There's a safety light that comes on. I'm going to look at the, this is the inflatable, it says, says jerk the pull, or I'm sorry, jerk the pull, jerk to inflate, right, okay, but I'm not going to inflate it, right, I'm an inspector, right, I'm going to treat this, okay, I'm going to check, there's a snap, and I'm going to look inside, and there is a, a piece in here that has an inflatable valve, and I'm going to look at the dates on this, so I'm going to go through this item by item. So if you're doing the assignment for this, I would say that I I'll look for tears, rips, condition. I'll look for date items, which this is past its date. There's also a date, a manufacturer's item. I'm gonna look piece by piece. I'm gonna look at the filler. I'm gonna look at the cord. I'm gonna look at the safety strap, okay? That's the kind of answer that I'm gonna look. Now, you're going to be answering on a seat assembly of oxygen bottle and a fire extinguisher. So you're gonna list the items that you're gonna specifically look at on these items, okay? Does it work? Is it out of date? How does it look? And piece by piece, item by item, all right? Easy, easy thing. There are a few things that are also listed in the federal regulations as required inspections for equipment. And one of those is transponders. Um, you'll see in this article that you read, it talks about transponders and altimeters used for IFR flight. Okay, those also are some required things. The, the one last thing I wanna talk about when I worked at the, uh, at the cargo airline, we inspected straps. Now, the, a cargo strap on an airplane is a big, wide thing, and this is off my car. But as a mechanic, we had to go into the cargo airplanes and we had to inspect the straps. We inspected the hook. We inspected for fray on the strap. We, we inspected it to make sure that the locking mechanism worked, all right? And so when inspecting equipment, those were required equipment inspections for a cargo airline. You have to inspect the anything that locks down cargo, all right? So that's what we've got for this week. It's an easy week. Uh, you can probably knock this out pretty quick if you talk to uh, if you talk to your iPhone like I do, if you dictate to Siri, you can dictate that in your computer if you can make that work. If not, just type it the old-fashioned way. Anyway, you know how to get a hold of me. Have a good week, and don't forget if you're in AMT 155, um, this is a lab week for assembly and rigging. All right, we are in lab all week. Groups one, two, three, and four on Monday and Tuesday. Groups four, five, six. Sorry, groups five, six, seven, and, and the makeup group on Wednesday and Thursday. Have a good week.